This presentation of the 2014 Detroit Autorama is brought to you by Pilot Transport, the auto hauling specialist. We get it, and we get it there. And by Eaton Detroit Spring, made in the USA in Detroit. Detroit, Michigan, the Motor City. What better place to get recognition for your countless hours of hard work, busted knuckles, and endless late nights in the garage. If you think your car is ready for the spotlight, this is the place to be. Each year for the Detroit Autorama, there are over 1,000 applications sent in to be reviewed, selected, and processed by the show committee. Once your car has been chosen to be on display, it's crunch time, and last-minute preparation can include anything from extensive detailing to bodywork, paint, and final assembly. The time spent getting these vehicles ready to be scrutinized by over 100,000 spectators can certainly create some anxiety and stress, even if this is your life's passion. I'm Bill Amatucci. I'm from Canton, Michigan. It's my 68 Plymouth GTX. Always wanted one right from day one. My next door neighbor had a 69 GTX. And I looked at that 68 and I said, that's what I want. <laughs> My wife and I bought this car back in 2001 out of St. Louis, Missouri, sight unseen. Biggest mistake I ever made in my life. Because <laughs> it took us 13 years to restore it after we got it home. <laughs> Needed quarters. Rocker panel on the driver's side. Driver's door. Driver's fender. And it was just, it was a mess. Back in 1981, we had a car down here at Autorama. We had my wife's 69 Chevelle. Now, now, for some reason, I was reliving my childhood and I wanted to bring this down here. The last couple of weeks that we've had this car, trying to get ready for it, to, you know, for the car show, you spend a lot of money. <laughs> and my kid brother, it's just unbelievable he can work and then he comes in the garage for 10 hours and I'm out there and it's unbelievable how much stress is involved to try to get this thing ready oh it's all family it's just a, yes a lot of passion when we first brought this car in on a trailer here at Cobo Hall my brother I, I texted him on my phone I said Jeff we got to get the car over to the uh, the table he comes over, he talks to me, and he says, well, you got to drive it over there. I said, I'm not driving that car. I says, I'm too scared to drive the car. I said, you better bring it over here. But I got to tell you, we had a little problem when we first brought it over. And I didn't know if it was going to make it or not, but it did. Roughly, the motor is about 1,730 horsepower on motor with no nitrous and roughly we're going to spray roughly right around 1,000 to 1,200 horse of nitrous through the motor. I'm Bob Mandel and I'm here with my Super Bel Air at the 2014 Detroit Autorama. Uh, the first thing of course is the motor uh, completely built in-house 792 cubic inch uh, nitrous motor uh, just out this unbelievable stuff as it's five inch pour space Donovan block uh, you know big spread port heads dual stage nitrous system that's coupled to a PTC uh, bolt together converter uh, through a Bob's Profab super power glide that's completely built in-house linked right up to the custom sheet metal 9 inch Ford rear end and it's coupled to a 389 gear in the back linked up to some 34 5 uh, Hoosier tires that uh, just make a lot of smoke
into uh, performance wise of the car. Uh, this car will be capable of running right around 620s in a quarter mile at 230, 232 mile an hour. It's insane. You know, it's the world of speed today. <laughs> you know, you gotta have fun. We've got a 1940 Ford pickup here that we built from the ground up. Hi, I'm Chris Carlson, Chaotic Customs out of Mulvane, Kansas, and we're at the Autorama 2014 in Detroit. It came out of a barn and we started a year and a half ago on it, and this is the final product. We got with TCI, got a chassis for it, started building the chassis, started building the truck. So the cab, we went, we cut it in half through the doors and widened it two and a half inches. Then I added two and a half inches to the back of the cab. Then I chopped the top and built a whole new roof for it. We English wheeled a roof skin, built the back glass, basically ended up with about a four and a half inch chop. Then I cut it horizontal through the doors and sectioned it two and a half inches. And then I took it two inches over the, cat, over the frame itself. So that's what we did to the cab. Basically it looks like a Raider wheel. Uh, Rocket Wheels has actually started remaking those. So that's a new wheel that's made by Rocket, but it looks like the old Raiders. That was a 1960s, wheel. You know, a lot of guys have asked us why we didn't chrome them more, polish them up more. That's how they should have looked originally. That's how they would have came out of the mold. We like the wide whites look, so we got with uh, Diamondback and used them. They made a, a great tire for us. And we do a lot of these indoor shows, So, and I also like to drive it. We pull it in and out of the shop to keep those tires nice and clean. And we came up with those tire covers from the auto parts store. It's just like covers a Jeep on the back or a van on that spare tire. We cover all the tires so they have black, black all the way out. The crowd reaction here at the show has been really good for the truck. You know, people really ask a lot of questions about it. One of the cool details is there's pinstriping and gold leaf that's underneath the body and underneath the uh, uh, cross member and on the motor mounts and stuff. So when they start picking that little detail out, it's, it's pretty exciting. This presentation of the 2014 Detroit Autorama was brought to you by Pilot Transport, the auto hauling specialist. We get it, and we get it there. And by Eaton Detroit Spring, made in the USA in Detroit.